Thanks for your support as always, channel members and patrons. We're going to do a bit of donut operator. Donut. Donut. Yeah, I'm I'm good. Donut. Not posted for uh, almost two weeks, <coughs> donut operator. Yeah. Has he been on holiday? I've got no idea. I do follow yeah. him on Twitter, but I've also not seen anything on there. He's, right, a, okay. he's a massive Twitter troll, you know. Oh, he is. Yeah. Huge. See. Right, okay. a- anyone who's like quite left-leaning or post any anti-gun thing or anything like that, he just trolls straight them. On. Yeah, mm. it's straight on people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really get that culture, the trolling culture. No. I, it's fun to read, but to go to the effort of mm. doing it all. Yeah. Not so yeah, sure. We have other people to do that. But yeah, we're going to go for Donut Operator's new video, Cop Runs Towards Gunfire and Smokes Mass Ooh. Shooter. Mm. Oh, okay. Which, yeah, got the potential to be an interesting one, this, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's do it. Go on, keep moving! Go on, go on, go on, keep moving! I'm about to say, class, I'm moving up on him. Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm back. The 4th of July week was awesome. I wanted to spend it with some boys, but here I am. Was your 4th of July week was awesome? Did any of you lose your fingers? I still got all mine. You're welcome, Heather. Do you like active shooters? Because I f***ing hate active shooters. And so does the police officer, the f***ing hero that we're about to watch in the video I'm going to break down. A crazy man went on a rampage in an Allen, Texas mall, killing eight people. And the officer we're about to talk about hunted that bastard down and turned them room temperature in just a couple minutes from the time initial shots rang out. But first, a couple updates about my previous video. I got that fat American detective Japanese magazine. Nani? And one lucky cornbread eating Kentucky Japanese man is a thousand dollars richer. Speaking of money, I talked to Detective Orozco from my last video. Shots fired, shots fired. He's got a gun, he's shooting at us. All units, all units. And he's got 10 big ones heading his way for him and his family. But first, a word from our sponsor. Oh, my old mattress sucks. My back is from being in the military and police. I wish there was a... If your back is like mine, or you just want to sleep a little bit more comfortably, head on over to helixsleep.com slash donut operator and take that sleep test. Let's talk shooty shoots. Do you remember that video I did? It's my biggest video ever. It's about a super cop two tapping an active shooter after sprinting a hell of a long way across a shopping mall and then getting him across four lanes of interstate traffic. That is actually my most watched video at 19 million views. Hell, even wow. Sugar Sean O'Malley loved that video. What a good fucking dude, Donut! I like you! What you're about to watch is just as badass as that one. Badass is in the officer's actions. This video is actually pretty tragic. 15 people were shot. Allen, Texas, May 6th, 2023. I haven't even heard about a mass shooting in Texas this no. month. No. Especially with 15 people killed. Mm. May, no, it was in May. Eight killed, I think, wasn't it? A 15 shot. Was it May? Yeah. Yeah. May 6th. Ah, right. Yeah. It's May 6th, 2023. An officer with the Allentown Police Department was being a friendly old officer to a sweet little family in a parking lot of a shopping mall. This call was completely unrelated to what we're about to see. He just happened to be at the right spot at the right time. Make sure y'all be good, okay? And make sure you wear your seatbelts when mommy's driving, okay? You understand? Okay. Okay, all right. All right, you be good. Always the seatbelt. <laughs> wow. One forty-five. I think we got shots fired at the outlet mall. I got people running. It's terrifying. Man. Yeah. But suddenly all hell broke loose and the officer heard shots being fired from a couple hundred yards away. He can tell it's gunfire and he doesn't want to be outgunned so he reaches into his police car and he pulls out his patrol rifle. Without hesitating, he runs toward the sound of the gunfire. All right, look, remember if you don't want to hear my breakdown, you can go over to Donuts Raw Police Footage channel. On this channel, I tell stories and if you don't like that, you're just gonna have to kick rocks. They're moving farther away from me. This officer had to turn from officer friendly to officer savage in the blink of an eye because that's what good police do. <coughs> you Valdi. <coughs> Sorry, a little cough there. So the cop is like, hey boys, wear your seatbelt, brush your teeth, be nice to your mom, don't do methamphetamine or prostitutes. Except sometimes. Normal stuff that you tell kids. But then he's like, well, hold on, I gotta do some operator shit real quick. After he takes off towards the gunfire, though, that's when the 911 calls start coming in. 911, you calling about the shooting? Yes, 
The officer hears gunfire, but what he doesn't know is our 33-year-old suspect, who gives a f had gotten out of a silver sedan with an AR and opened fire on random people. According to reports, our Hispanic suspect had a history of supporting Nazis and white supremacy. If that's true, then this officer is going to be doing one thing and one thing only, killing Nazis. His history also included a brief stint in the army where he couldn't get through boot camp, and uh, he also has no criminal record. Back to the story of this stud who is trying to locate an active shooter by himself. Go, 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 keep moving! He's a little gassed now, because according to high-tech crime software that I only have access to, he sprinted 465 feet, or one and a half football fields, in 40 pounds of gear with a rifle in his hands. The officer is about to run up on a horrific scene. By the time he finds the shooter, 15 people had already been shot, and the victims ranged from 3 to 61 Jeez. years old. Three-year-old happened to be with his mom and dad that day, all three of who were shot. According to reports, dad was trying his best to put pressure on mom's wounds while frantically speaking 911. All three unfortunately ended up dying and left behind another six-year-old son. A GoFundMe was set up for the Cho family, which as of right now has raised nearly $2 million. I'd leave a link for that in the description comments below, but they've closed out the fundraiser and aren't taking any more donations. Let's watch a hero go to work. I'm by Polo Rock and Warren moving, trying to get to him. That's still shooting. Everybody, I got. What? Yes. What you got? Are we a mass shooter? Yeah, we got people coming. One forty five, I believe we got a mass shooter. I got a max team on the ground. Drop it! Drop it! Ricky. I'm passing the engine. You didn't hear what the officer said over the radio right there is I'm passing people who are down. Some of you might ask, well, why isn't he stopping and helping those people? In an active shooter situation, you do not stop and provide aid until it is confirmed that the active shooter slash shooters are down. That or if you killed the active shooter yourself and he's clearly not moving. Foreshadowing. Let's keep going. That makes mm. perfect sense, doesn't it? Yeah, because he's going to kill more people. He's going to shoot at more people. He's going to carry all the damage. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also to eliminate the problem yeah. you're, you're the best chance at the problem of being eliminated yeah. as mm -hmm. well so if you're out of the fight yeah. it's, it's just gonna just exactly gonna go yeah, isn't it? again yeah. of course this is so like it's tense it's, 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 uh, like, what, oh, yeah. it's really visceral isn't it like mm. some of the other ones we've seen are really short videos and this is like this absolute hero's ran mm. for ages on yeah. his own going into an active shooter mm. thing this guy's a badass isn't yeah. he I'm moving as fast as I can trying to get over there I told me he'll figure. I don't know where he's at. Shot the star. Alright, actually we're still going. Well, this is 
The officer just ran another 150 yards and is gassed. But despite the Texas heat and the 40 pounds of gear, he gets in a nice little gunfight with the suspect and takes him down. He dead. Utilizing that software that's not available to anyone else, the officer ran a total of 1,276 feet. That's a little over four football fields. Yes, you un-American swine, we measure everything in football fields. <laughs> I'm over here by Lynch, I got him down! Get away from here! Get away from here! Get away! I'm by some class hut, I'm moving up on him! Who's just behind me? Watch your fire! Watch your fire! I got him down! Chris, I got I think so! I'm not hearing any gunshots! Is he down? Yeah. Got down, bro! Got him, bro! As you can see, when the officer is walking to the suspect, there's little blurs on the ground. You don't have to be a genius to figure out what those are. I feel terrible for the victims and the victims' families, but in addition to them, I want to send some thoughts and prayers to the officers who had to be on this scene. Running up on something like that has to be brutal on your mental health, and I hope that they can get all the help they need. I would love to give the main officer in this video a care package. From what I can see, his name hasn't been released, so if anyone can get him to contact me or some somebody out there, I want to send him something. What do you see what the officers in the Nashville active shooter situation got? What a f***ing hero, though. No telling how many people he saved that day. My vlog channel just hit 500,000 subscribers. If you want to go check that out, we had a little range day with Russian Badger. The skate shop is almost done. Hopefully, we can open it at the end of this month and have a big grand opening party. And if you want to help support this channel, head on over to DonutOperator.com and get some super sweet merch. Or yeah. Yeah, it saved a lot of people. You imagine? Yeah, there's a lot of gunshot. When, yeah, a lot of gunshot from when he started running as to when he got up to the. I mean, it was only like a few minutes, wasn't yeah. it? Can you imagine yeah. if he'd been going for like another five, ten, fifteen minutes? Mm. This guy, how many other people would have killed? Yeah, absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. I'm guessing people are giving the officers stick for stepping over bodies. There, that's what Donuts kind of defending without saying he's defending it. You just got to crack on, on you. Yeah. yeah it just, well, it just shows, doesn't it? How many more would this guy have killed? Mm. Yeah. Well, would it, it would have been more. Well, simple as that the cop could have got killed yeah and then yeah. The, then there is no one there mm. to try and help yeah. you know if, he, if he's yeah. not paying attention mm. to the target that's right it's true that's a really um i mean we've watched a lot of donut operating mm. now and a lot of them are shorter than that that's a very visceral very like yeah just crazy scary yeah. situation it's a great it? channel as well isn't it yeah yeah but it's uh to the cop there I mean, they, that's they, they all are though yeah, I mean, not not all. You can't say all of them because that's probably people going to say, "Well, this guy wasn't." I know he's, yeah. but ninety percent of them, ninety nine percent of them. Well, one fight. I mean, running towards probably Danger. you know, it was death, Life and certain, death. you know, yeah. death. You yeah. know, it's on your own. Be, on your own. Yeah, it could yeah. just be shot any time. Yeah. You know, he doesn't know. Doing does his he? job. You know. Yeah, love yeah. it. Absolutely, but so professional. They really are. When you're saying uh, not all of them, they're not operated. Um, he alluded to uh, Ulvade, didn't he? Did you not hear it at the beginning? There was a point where he said, um, "You know, you've got to be able to switch from." talking to families mm. to switching it on and going to work mm. or, or however he phrased it and then he said uh, take note Ulvade or something Who's like that? that it was the school shooting where all the cops stood outside oh, okay. do you remember the ah, one in Texas right. yeah yeah, yeah. Of course, and yeah. Uh, the cops were I think there was parents having to smash windows and go in mm. and get the kids yeah so I, I, he was having a, a dig at those yeah, cops yeah. there yeah you see the, you see the police like I say 
most of the time, nine out of ten times, the police are in there first and protecting and serving. Yeah. yeah. So I think, but that, there are instances. There are instances where, you know, you've got to be wrong. wrong I suppose. Yeah. You've got to be the barrier between mm. the general public yeah. and the bad guys. That's that's the job. Yeah, we've got like, we've got yeah. a lot of bad, bad apples in our uh, in our police force over here, especially in the Metropolitan Police that serves London and surrounding area. Yeah. It's, it's a proper bad and even GMP, a lot of bad eggs. I'm sure there's bad ones everywhere. Yeah. The, the, the people at the end of the day, so there's yeah. going to be scumbags. Every walk of life, I suppose, isn't there? Any jobs yeah. that you go to, I suppose, there mm. is. Mm. Absolute hero, that guy. Yeah, though. he was, wasn't he? Hope you guys awesome. enjoyed that. Uh, thanks for the support, as always. We do appreciate it. We do. And we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers.